Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Raka, Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have told us the 100% truth of the scriptures. And honor citations to the elect, I can do in these works. In season, out of season. Week in, week out, sincerity and truth. So in this lesson, man, I want I want to tell this like, um, grow up, fun. You know, because I mean, come on, really, it's really shocking and amazing to see the 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 mindset of some of these guys who call themselves, you know, in the truth. And it really is like a blessing, man, to, to have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Because even though some people claim they do, they really don't. Because if you talk about how you need to have fun, then you really, truly don't know what's going on. So it's just my two cents on how everybody else is, is, is doing it. The Spirit compelled me as well, you know, to... to um. Do a lesson on this um, scripture I got in mind. Let's go to what Yahweh said to start this off. Um, so I could be with me. So this is the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 49 and he said and he said unto them how is it that he sought me wants he not that I must be about my father's business so if you about biz your business then that means you're not about fun okay I wish I said he was about his father's business he was he's not about fun or he wasn't about fun okay You know, and they got uh, uh, movies like I think that's the Adam Adam Sandler movie. I think it was called like Click or something like that. So he was just constantly about work, 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 and he was miss he was missing out on, um, you know, fun pretty much with his children. So if you're really about your business, you're gonna be wrapped up and tied up in business to where you you fun isn't even on your mind at at the time. Okay, so we are about growing and molding in this truth. I mean, let me get that in First Peter. Crazy. So, First Peter 2 and 2, As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. See, so this is where our mindset is at, man. Trying to grow in this in this truth. Trying to grow with Yahweh Bashem Hashai. Um, what else in the book of Luke? I don't give a goddamn about no damn fun, man. What? This is Luke 21. And and, and like Apostle Cabal was saying, man, you're going to have moments where you laugh. But we're not promoting to have fun. That you need to have fun. No, we're, we're promoting prepare. Prepare, prepare for the return of the Lord, man. Just like uh, John the Baptist was, man. Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, constantly repent. Work on ourselves. So that what? Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. So we're not worried about fun. That's not on the forefront of our minds. It's not a, a deal breaker for for you to want to join our camp. Oh, and we'll have a lot of fun too. Don't worry. Yeah, we're going to teach the scripture and we're going to have. No. It's not a deal breaker for us. It's not on the forefront of our minds. On the forefront of our minds, man. You know, I speak for myself. I'm sure I speak. For, for all the sincere brethren, 
because we all one body anyway. The Lord say, pray that, pray that we be one as we, as they are one. Is that we just want to be counted worthy, man, for the Lord when He returns, so that that He saves us, man, and that's gonna come by Second Peter, Second Peter one and ten. Wherefore the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. It's going to come by giving diligence in this truth, man. What do the scriptures say? Study to show thyself approved. So we're going to study. You may not be a guru, a guru in the scriptures, a master teacher. But, hey, you got different grade schools in, in school. You got a first grade teacher, a second grade teacher, a third grade teacher, the 12th grade teacher. You may get up in there as a little third grade teacher, a little, you know what I mean? A little second grade teacher. You're going to be able to to, to uh, execute on the, the talents that was given to you. You can spare power your how about your mouth shy. So, you know, the scripture says study to show thyself approved. So we're going to be able to study and be able to teach what we study, whatever the, whatever it may be. Okay, but the studying is to help us build for when that flood comes, man. And and and, and even the the the, the the storms that are out there now in the form of these false doctrines, vocab him alone, trying to sow doubt, trying to sow discourse, trying to sow confusion, trying to sow false accusations. You know? Because if you fake in the funk and you're not studying yourself, you're just going to go for word of mouth. And then something may entice you. Like I was watching that, uh, the I should be K guy. He told me, yeah, oh yeah. Um, uh, a lot of people think that we just um, stiff, stiff guys. No, we have fun. And a a, a damn demon tried to uh, sneak up on me. <laughs> like, oh snap! You know, maybe I should. You know, maybe I should go there, man. That do that do kind of sound like fun. You know, and then we. Uh, Hey man, myself man, I'm a straight loner with it. But then people that be be a loner may want a social life, and be in the truth at the same time. So it's like you going out, but you going out with people in the truth. So that could be enticing, man. That demon try to man. I get out of, uh, <laughs> like one of the movies where like a mo a monster or something. Or enemy trying to keep up behind you. All you do is lift your fists up. Oh, psh. Get out of here with that, man. But that's the thing. Because, see, we, we study individually for ourselves, man. And as I'm doing the lesson right now. It it's, it's, it's shows that, you know, the spirit is, 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 is in me. The spirit of Yahweh Shai is in me. So, the point is. Right. That's why you have to study for yourself so that you can have your own foundation. Because if you don't and you hear something enticing, you could uh fall away. Let me let me get that real quick. Um because that's what temptation. Uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 13. They on the uh, parable of the sower and the seed, they on the rock are they which when they hear, receive the word with joy. See? They receive the word with joy, man. So for them to go out with, with, with people that's like-minded with them, they with it. But it says, and these have no root, which for a while believe in the time of temptation, fall away. See, so, so through the temptations... Because you have no root, you wasn't studying, you wasn't praying, you wasn't fasting, you wasn't locking in, you wasn't growing in the spirit of the Lord, you wasn't listening in to the apostles and others, a great millstone, but you just believed it and that was it. You wasn't doing nothing to, to, to lock in. 
All you did was believe. Now when temptation comes and enticement comes, it, it carries you right on away. See? So that's why what, what, what we're really about is Luke 6 and 48. And he is like a man which built in house and dig deep. See, so we are we are in a preparation of building this, building this house, building it perfect so that it can withstand as I'll continue to read and lay the foundation on the rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it for it was founded upon a rock. We are literally in the stage of building this house perfectly, knowing that this storm, this great storm is to come. And we are in the phase of building it perfectly so that it does not tumble or fall when when the flood comes, man. All right, which I'm specifically speaking upon uh, Jacob's trouble. That's what it's all about, man. Fuck, fuck some goddamn fun, bro. You out your mind thinking like that. This is business, man. This is strictly business, bro. We are going to have infinite fun when the Lord returns every single second of the day is going to just be pure fun, pure enlightenment, peace, joy of the Rakah Kwadash, man. So, you know what? Let me just get it with this. End it with this. Alright, so we may be in. Let me end it with this last one. Yep, 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 yep. Ecclesiastes 2 and 14. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Because you lost, you tired of God. You tired of just building a house, building a house, building, 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 building. You tired of just building and building and building and building. Hell, when we when we built um when we built the second temple. No, it might have been the first actual. Yep, yep, yeah. The first actual temple, they had to bring in a, a draft. And they, they literally had to like draft Israelites because nobody would really volunteer to just uh, uh, want to just build for years. Build, 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 because that's work. And that's what we're doing now. We are building, building, and building, and building in the spirit. That spiritual arc. And, you know, you, you, you're getting tired of building. And, and, and you losing pay. You want to have. You don't want to be about the business no more. You want to go out and have fun. So that means you lost patience, man. We want you to have lost patience. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? So this, this truth ain't about all having fun. Don't don't put down the forefront of Israel's mind. You know, that's way 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 in the, in the back somewhere, man. Okay. That's not what it's about. We'll edify with that. I'm going to say Shalom.